Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to Round 9, Season 8, AM2 Contest of Speed Action from a very, very soggy hamlet here in the middle of the Arden Forest. Uh, situated between Spa and Frankershops is the creatively named Circuit Spa Frankershops. I'm Kid and Petter, joined alongside by Mr. Andy Wu. Howdy. Um... Yeah, excited to see uh, these AMP boys go at it of Eau Rouge, um, try not to die. Uh, but first we get to watch them struggle around a moist spot. Uh, yeah. I always like moist. Yeah, uh, you know, a moist spot is better than a dry spot whenever you're talking about um, facials and whatnot. Uh, RJP! Yeah, you know, it, there's a stigma around dudes getting facials, but personally, I find it extremely refreshing. Uh, anyways, RJP was the first on track. Uh, it is his second appearance of the season. Uh, he was in a couple of weeks ago. Not, don't really remember how he did, but uh, we missed last week. He's back, uh, and uh, I believe I noticed noted last week he's the only professional athlete in contest of speed. So uh, hopefully his arm's iced up and he's ready to go. Uh, and turn some laps here. Uh, he is partnering Motor, uh, which is which is nice. The Motor finally has a teammate, so uh, good for him. Somebody's well, got to score points. Have a uh, oh, oh yeah, that's true. Diabolical yeah, yeah. X. Diabolical X uh, against Mitch Burns. Uh, I guess anything else happened since the last time we uh, spoke to you? Uh, oh yeah, uh, P. Dot Payton. P oh uh, Haas. Uh, what I was gonna say is that P Dog Payton, the overwhelming championship leader, uh, I think he won five races on the trot. He has been moved up permanently to AM1 after snatching pull last week in Monaco in both tiers, uh, with a time that would probably put him in the top 100 of the world timesheets. Uh, so the championship is wide open. It's currently Vamu leading from uh, Mitch Burns. One point separates those two. And all the way down, really, it is quite tight. Uh, even pretty much down to, to Game Boy in ninth. Or I guess eighth now. Uh, only about 40 or so points separate the, uh, the top 10. So, with uh, 15 races left, including this one, uh, should be a pretty intriguing run down to the championship. I think everyone left is uh, pretty evenly balanced, or at least... Yeah, field spread isn't too much. Yeah, I, I think we now got it to where uh, anybody in the top ten, especially, can go out and win a race. Um, you know, condolences to P Dog. All right, you know, it, it was a very tough decision, but I feel like, and along with the other AM admins, it was something that needed to be done uh, to keep AM two interesting, um, where we can have drivers, you know, such as. I don't know, Elite Game Boy, you know, ninth in championship. You go out, snatch a win, and it not really be too big of a surprise. Yeah, we saw once P Dog rounded into form uh, about three or four Second races. Race. In, yep. Well, three or four races into the season, he really started uh, flying uh, in high gear. Uh, RJP is coming around to f complete this first flying lap, uncumbered by any of those pesky track limits 56 2 we'll see if that is good as we go along i believe mitch burns currently in second place by 1.558 so rjp not too far off the pace uh, i'll tell you what it is quite a journey getting around here in the wet it is it is not easy whatsoever it's yeah it, it's a very long track with many places where you can easily invalidate the game boy move about a second faster than the field Okay. Um, but yeah, it, it's very difficult to put up or put together a whole lap. Um, especially with the, like all parts of the track being very different. Uh, you got uh, the high speed, you know, very low downforce oriented first and third sectors. And the not so technical, I would say, but still twisty uh, middle sector. So I guess we'll see uh, who's running all the downforce uh, in qualifying. Yeah, it is quite a juxtaposition to be in here. Uh, do you go for a little less stability here in qualifying in order to maximize 
your race pace or do you just take the track position and hopefully have enough pace to get down here this long Kimmel straight uh, which leads into Lacombe the uh, main overtaking opportunity uh, I guess we're gonna find out uh, fatal up into P2 but Vamo Nubel is in P1 as I just mentioned he is currently the refreshed championship leader with P Dog's absence. One point advantage over Mitch in the Alpine. And Fatal actually looking to, to get some form together here. Another podium last week for him in P2, his second of the season. But uh, his two podiums have accounted for, I think, 33 points. And he only has 40 points overall through nine rounds. So looking for a little stability, I think, out of him this evening. Uh, Motor who has already set a competitive 235.493 uh, going again for another lap. <laughs> not, not, sure what, not sure what happened on that, but he's, uh, he's about 40 seconds off the pace. Maybe he spun out because I know he's uh, running a very dry oriented setup uh, with the practice we were doing earlier. Uh, so I, I, he's one to look out for the race, um, look for in the race uh, to probably make his way to the field because I know he is trimmed out in terms of down course. And that is brought to you by our partners at manscaped.com. believe, is that VTEC? VTEC has lost it. Uh, come in, actually before Blanchemont, I think. Huh? How did he make no, I think he's just waiting for everybody else to, to get, get around him. Uh, oh. Motor does know, put in a, a more competitive one fifty five. Slowest driver in contest speed. Yeah, not or the sorry, case. Name. So Vtex just he's just really hard on himself. He is. He is. He's, he's the ultimate perfectionist. And quite frankly, I wouldn't expect anything else coming from one of the greatest Honda mechanics in the DMV. It'd be quite frankly. Irrational for him not to be. Villeneuve coming around Blanchemont. He is uh, keeping that foot pinned to the throttle as he heads to the bus stop. El Senor Villeneuve. See what kind of time he can put in. It's going to be a 202. Obviously, he made a bit of a mistake at some point during that lap. Kano out here working along the third sector now into what is that corner is campus campus and that's a purple sector too for Kano I wonder if there's a dry line starting to form a little bit or maybe not dry line but uh, water getting shifted around I believe Game Boy goes fastest again 54-3 these guys are getting faster and faster yeah I, I know Kano is the slots are loose opposite into this spectrum um <laughs> in terms of concourse uh, <laughs> okay <laughs> Not what I meant by Spectrum. Uh, he, he's uh, running a little bit more down for this uh, Yeah, I think that, that Sector Time lied to you. It would never. It's just not true. Uh, but not a bad time for Kano in the top 10. Obviously only 14 drivers today. A uh, surprisingly low number. We have some illnesses going around, uh, which I I also been a little bit under the weather. Uh, and I, I, I believe Porridge in... Beans. Yeah, well, yeah. I, yeah, I have you helping me uh, broadcast this race to yeah. everyone. Around Ooh, DK has retired. Let's see, who is back there? There's an alpha. Uh, Kano's on an in-lap. Kano. Oh, is that... It's D yeah, okay. Sorry, I saw the car in the background as well, and I thought that might be... That there might have been two cars involved. Uh, that is actually uh, Malmady. Huh? Lacombe is the chicane. Oh, see, you know, I, I ain't trying to keep track of all that. Mal Malmady's turn nine. Mal Since, uh, Malmady's nuts. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a mature person. A uh, couple of people in the comments, hey, uh, it's Electric Blade, who I guess we haven't even touched on. Electric is actually, unfortunately, suspended this evening. It is kind of is... Getting in the way of Vamu, possibly. Connie might want to get off the track, man. I think, yeah, Vamu's on an outlet. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, Electric uh, 
apparently intentionally crashed in Monaco. We saw it. We saw his car in a strange angle. Uh, and that was deemed to be intentional, and the stewards uh, ruled uh, that he will be suspended for this race. Not great news for his championship hopes. He definitely would have been in contention today, uh, considering what is the smallest grid of the season thus far. A fair bit, too. We've had really, really good attendance. Yeah, 17 to 20 all season, but yeah, just a lot yeah. of folks not, we'll not coming right out. We are missing both McLarens, uh, and they're usually really good about attendance. So. Yeah. I'd, I'd assume it's just a, a blip in the radar. Oh, oh, Vamu. Oh, my goodness. I, I peed a little, and I'm not even driving the car. All right. That car was at a 45 degree angle heading towards the outside wall. I thought I was about to see uh, another Hubert esque. Whoa. Too, too soon. soon. Bot hot up to P6. Uh, good qualifying for him. Uh, it's not going to last very long because RJP leapfrogs back up into P5. So, uh, track is obviously getting better and better. Currently, the top two are only separated by uh, less than 500. Is that? Dubai is Dubai died, died up on Rouge? Rouge. On oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, yep. Yep. Uh,. Uh, sadly, there are no Australians to uh, walk up over Rouge and set flowers out there before the race. Uh, as this is racing fan says, Purple Sector 1. I'd believe that. For racing fan, who had a really strong first 10 or so laps around the streets of Monaco. Very strong debut from him last week. And uh, I think we can confirm that he is indeed a racing fan uh, since he's here. And he has it in his name, uh, but I think he I forget exactly what happened. But he uh, he DNF'd from I think P5 around Monaco after after uh, what was pretty impressive uh, for his first race around the most difficult circuit uh, in the game. I don't know. It, it, is it really the most difficult? I would. I mean, yeah, to get a good lap, yeah. I, I put my money on Japan for that one. Uh, but put yeah, it in the it, comments. It, it discuss. Pace, his pace was there uh, around the Hashtag. smallest track. In, um, this is a big twack. Yeah. It's a real big twack. This size doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's what my mom told me. P2, yeah, I think you're right. Five. Five thousandths. Holy crap. Five thousandths off of Elite Game Boy there in P1. Oh, look at the top Oh, look four. at Fatal. Oh, Fatal. Smashes it out of the water. Boy, Fatal with a 54 flat. Let's see if uh, he's going to rest on his laurels. I think he's just letting Mitch go. Might be a recharge lap. I don't think he's going to have enough time to go around and then come back and set another one. Depends on how much fuel he's carrying. Uh, racing fan has already uh, invalidated. As has Vamu Nubel, who's going to have one last chance here. Uh, electric rooting on his teammate from the back of the garage. Typically something only I do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You, you really are the best at that. Yep. yep sure am. Uh, the Game Boy on another outlap. We'll have to see. He'll have another chance to get that pull. He has looked the strongest today, but Fatal uh, coming and snatching that crown two and a half tenths up. Just about. Just a memento ago. Mitch burns around Puan, which is uh, very fun in treacherous conditions, I can attest. I'm sure sure he was having a blast around there. Now he's got the Cinna helmet. He's been switching his helmets ever since we made fun of his last helmet. Ooh, he, he deserved that. Yeah, it was an ugly helmet. Purple yeah. Sector 2 for P2 in the championship right now. We'll see if that's legit or not in just a few seconds. I know Game Boy had a scruffy uh, turn one um, to start his... Uh, Maybe last lap? I think he might be able to get another one in if he's not feeling this one. Uh, 
let Mitch cross the line. Mm, he improve? Yeah, he improves, but not quite enough to challenge his top ones. He'll have another chance here, depending on how much fuel he put in. I'd actually get two more chances if he uh, really filled that thing up with uh, delicious petrol. Who am I looking for now? Is that motor? Motor into the bus stop on a hot lap. Currently in P8. Still hasn't changed his helmet from just the uh, the base helmet that uh, that you get whenever you get the oh. game. P4. A surprising 54.3 from motor. And this is a tight field for such a wet track. Uh, Elite Game Boy hasn't validated, so he's going to definitely go out for another lap. Yeah, you can see him slowing him. down a little bit. Kano's done six laps. He's done about, he's done close to a third of this race distance on, on those inners. I mean, Kano, you got like four sets of them. You could have could have probably changed them and done a little bit better at some point. Oh, uh, Vami, like whoa, that. where'd he oh, come man. from? A 53.7. You like that? Is that Game Boy coming in, or is that... There's too many blue cars. I can't tell. Uh, yeah, I think it's, yeah, an Alpine of Mitch Burns would be the next one across the line on the hot lap, followed by the Haas of Fatal. Uh, so, good for Fatal that he did get another chance for a lap and I think everybody's gonna have another chance or at least Mitch is gonna have another chance here uh, right now is is that Kano has lost it yeah, out of Mitch up to P3 the... that is Malmody Malmody yeah and Fatal improved and he's only Malmody. five one hundreds behind uh, Vamu uh, yeah these guys are real close and I think Mitch is gonna have another chance he's looking like he's going pretty slow though yeah, I think that's that's it for him. The League Game Boy's invalidated, so he's not going to be able to oh. improve. Well, that's a bummer for League Motor Game Boy. Motor through the bus stop. Motor through the bus stop. A little bit oversteer as he gets back on power. Let's see if we can improve on that P6. P3 oh, for Motor. That is easily. What a lap. That is easily his best qualifying performance of the season thus far. Uh, Mitch Burns died up a rouge. Uh, he was the last one to cross the line to get a chance. But actually, I think Fatal did, but he's not pushing. Is this RJ? Uh, does RJP not have a chance? Um, I think yeah, R RJP's coming to finish a lot. Yeah, this is RJP. I believe is the last one, unless Vom is still out on a lap. Or is yeah, Fatal Vom is still going? Where's Fatal at? Uh, Fatal is going through Pu on now. Uh, RJP's gonna bail. That grew. Oh, and Fatal has. I think everyone's done then. Uh, yep. Yeah, it does look like these guys are done. Fatal's taking his time to get back to the pits, so. Yeah, no problem, Fatal. Don't worry about it. I'll just continue to fill time over here while you just mosey on back to the pits. Yeah, that, that's why you didn't get put. Uh, v VTech in the in the chat, uh, talking to a guy named Ray. Hey, what's up, Ray46? Looks like he's trying to get someone to replace him at Ferrari. And Already interesting. <laughs> and he said, join the league, and then <laughs> I don't know. Uh, don't, don't Clay, Clay, Clay Funk, uh, Clay Funk didn't set a lap, so obviously was not feeling those conditions and he is cool with just starting in the back what is tire strategy like uh, for these guys today in perfectly uh, dry conditions I think it's going to be pretty uh, pretty mixed um, pretty mixed grid uh, it's a soft to medium or a medium to soft um, yeah I think it's going to be 50-50 split jumbled up all over the place uh, some people trying to start strong and some people trying to finish strong Hmm. Uh, but if I see a set of hard tires, um, I will personally deliver a virtual slap to the back of that person. They are terrible. Terrible tire. Do not touch them. I'd love to see it. Hey, Arbar says, say hi to my dad. Hey, what's up, Arbar's dad? Heard you're cool. Yeah. Hey, Arbar, you got a cool dad. Shout out to Arbar's dad. Yeah, Mr. Barcraft. 
One, two, three. Uh, three, two, one. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. Everybody fits on the uh, same page. Vamu takes pole. I believe that's his second of the season. Uh, also had pole in... Was it Australia? I think. Might be wrong. I'm not an encyclopedia, guys. We need, the past is we need, we need virtual. We need virtual stat man here next to me uh, to regurgitate but, facts. Uh, P Dog Payton. P Dog Payton is crying crocodile tears in the chat. Uh, he is no longer allowed to dominate the championship. Uh, but I will gas him up one last time. He was leading by 51 points uh, over Vamu. 123 to 72. And uh, I'm not going to do the math, but uh, 72 points down to 11th place. Uh, so he had the same gap on second that second had on. P11, which is a tie between Arcock and Vitek. The, the man's was too fast. It was too fast. He is back but, to engineering RJP this evening. Take my job. Well, I, I didn't yes, he's, he says, don't sleep on RJP. I, I'm not sleeping on any of the Alpha Terry boys. Uh, I, I do... I, I don't know if I'll go for a full prediction, but I think one Alpha Tauri, whether it's RGP or Motor, will be on the podium. Okay. Well, this, well, we got a pretty we sorry. got a pretty active chat. Uh, if you guys want to get your predictions in, uh, should be interesting to find out uh, what you guys think. I'm not going to predict anything because I am a I am a neutral. And I'm basically like Kirk Herbstreet on College Game Day. Okay, well. Yeah, I've, I haven't seen a chat this active since uh, my one on Camster got from. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> the, you made a lot of coins. That was a lot, a lot of coins. It was. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, now that's settled. The rain has dried. And we are on our formation lap. We are led by one Vamu Nubel. The Argentinian has inherited the lead in the championship, if you're just joining. He is starting on mediums. Interestingly enough, the only one inside the top seven starting on mediums. So we'll see if he's a sitting duck or if he is onto something here. Receiving Fatal in P2, his best starting position of the season. Motor in P3, his best starting position of the season. And he almost takes off. Fails gearbox. Mitch Burns in P2 in the championship. It's going to be starting P4 on the grid. That Alpine. Elite Game Boy in P5. Racing Fan in P6. Another strong qualifying uh, for the newcomer. RJP in P7. Uh, P Dog says to keep an eye on him. And P Dog basically already had won this championship, so you might want to listen. DK in P8. He DNF'd along with his teammate in qualifying. Kano in P9. There's his other teammate, or there's his teammate that also DNF'd. It's Bot Hot in P10. Now P11, interesting, it's Groove on the hards. Virtual uh, slap for you. Villeneuve in P12 on the mediums, VTech on the mediums, and Clay Funk did not complete a lap there in Quali. Uh, he's starting at the back on the mediums as well. Only 14 drivers, so hopefully nothing, uh, nothing too intense. Uh, but who knows? This is <laughs> what an electric breakdown. Yeah, I know, it's great. I don't think I, I usually, I usually don't get this far in the song. <laughs> you usually don't get this far in the song, but since it's such a long formation lap, it's already hitting, it's hitting the breakdown. <laughs> All right, so the, oh, usually the, 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 usually the transition's a little, a little smoother than that. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's so hard to see. <laughs> Electric says Fatal Vamu and Elite Game Boy. Uh, those are those are his oh. Oh. Those are his predictions. Let's keep an eye on these first two rows here. <laughs> Short rundown into the source. And now. And now. And they're off. And it is Vamo Nubel with the inside line. 
into the source. See if Fatal gets a good run out. Not quite. RJP looks like he got pushed off the track back there. Fatal is fitting off motor for P2. Up the hill we go. See if everybody made it all right. Motor, you said he was trimmed out with those soft tires. Oh, he's gonna make it three wide. Oh, he's oh, in the grass. The oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, he does got he, it. Does he make that stick? He does. Well, that is a contender for move of the season right there. It looks like RJP has lost it somewhere along the way. Let's go uh, back. We only have two people with wing damage. Racing Fan and Bodhod both have moderate wing damage. Ooh, ruined Alright, well that's unfortunate for RJP. Maybe P Dog can enlighten us on that situation. Uh, but yeah, RJP has dropped down to P14. I um, think he might have just had a spin. Didn't notice any damage. Uh, so perhaps nothing uh, nothing too bad for him. Filling him with a good start up into P9. Yeah, Bamu on these mediums, uh, he's having trouble getting them fired off. He's got everyone and their mother on his tail right now. Uh, the, the two in front of him are kind of getting away, scooting on down the road. Ooh, Mitch looking for a move. This is the two championship protagonists at the moment. And Mitch is going to get that move fired in through Blanchemont. Don't see that too often. Ooh, v yeah, Bamu. Bamu Bamu just about lost it. Yeah, the, I, I think with the overcast conditions, these these mediums just are not heating up. Nope. Lead Game Boy, looking for a move here. I think he's gonna get a pretty good yep. run. Ooh, oh, actually, Vamu backs him up a bit. A bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think Game Boy's gonna be able to get him down in the lake home. See how the dirty air is. Mitch Burns actually looks like he might have had a little bit of trouble navigating the Rouge. Gives you wings. See how much Vamu wants to wants to fight. I think Vamu must have must have expected more people to be starting on those mediums. Wonder if he was having some problems with tire wear uh, or something uh, in practice. But yeah, that is uh, obviously not the right call. Uh, at least for now. RJP with the fastest lap. Oh, fatal around. Or is that fatal from P2? Oh, and he's could not. Get that! Uh -oh. oh boy, that is. Ooh. I think he kept. Yes, his wings are right, uh, but he. That was probably the worst flick spin I've ever seen. No, that is really honest. Lost it up a rouge as well. Uh, he put on those hard tires. And basically, basically wets at this point. DK. Oh, we got the DK. Oh, where that is interesting. Oh, he's out. He's wow. out up against the tire bear. I have no idea. Weird oh, Owen. Fatal on hot tires also just lost it on entry. Uh, in the is, middle of uh, 11 and 12. That is coming out of Lafania, I believe is how you pronounce it. I don't know. Mitch Burns, Villeneuve, feel free to correct me. I don't speak French. Uh, but yeah, that is oh, that is a heartbreak for DK, uh, who has who's found himself in P3 in the championship. wonder if it was a bit like uh, Giovinazzi crashed there at the last yep. season. Well, just got a little bit too much of the curb, and then tank slapped back and forth. Meanwhile, uh, with Fatal uh, repelling down the order, uh, this is Motown's uh, time to shine. One and a one point six second seconds. Nope. Yeah, this is Elite Game Boy. Uh, he might have something for him. He had, definitely has something for Mitch Burns there. Mitch definitely running some downforce. I guess. Oh, DRS is exactly. He's under field as well. Uh, the Alpine. I, I'll. Make a little button to the grid and check. Uh, Whoa! Vilnius and Gru! Vilnius and Gru and Lacombe. I'm not sure. If we only caught the end of that. I'm not sure if Vilnius got the back of Gru or not, but Gru is missing a front wing. He's missing all of it. Oh man, that's not going to be fun for him starting on the hard tires. I think Vilnius caught the back of him. Uh, he'd he'd get, get a warning for uh, that collision, so. Maybe maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I'm not here to judge. Hmm. Well, that's a bummer for him. And uh his elite Game Boy is getting his boogie on. Uh, yeah, chasing so down. Alpines are uh, slightly underfueled. 
Uh, but other than that, the rest of the grid, very conservative with the amount of fuel they have in the car. And that is Bob losing it around the comb on those hard tires. Uh, he's not getting those activated either. This has just been a wretched day so far for the Aston Martin team. They both crashed and qualifying DK crash in the second lap and now Bodhod is spun twice and he is, he's got his hands full behind the wheel of that uh, that beautiful green car Mitch not giving up quite yet it's going to stay in DRS uh, down the Kimmel straight which is uh, crucial for him ERS he's going to try to burn if he's going to try to go for a move or just try to sit behind people and I think he's going to sit behind it. Yeah, these guys just might be able to... Just drag himself up the motor. Yeah. I think that might be might be the play for old Mitch. It's also going to keep him out of uh, out of Vamu's way who who is having a pretty solid run so far. I think uh, out of that start phase, he finally yeah. got a hold of everything. And yeah, he's getting it, getting it back together now. Good. Yeah, those mediums will be stronger in probably, what, two, three, four laps? Uh, I think about three laps, he'll be on the tail of uh, the two, a three in front of him, because everyone's starting to close in on motor now. What am I trying to find here? I'm trying to find... Biggest winners, biggest losers. Clay Funk up to P7 right now. You can see RJP in the distance, but he can also see VTech behind him. He's up seven spots. VTech behind him up five spots. So the guys who finished who started 14th and 13th are up. As we have another yellow, is that grew in the same spot? So I wonder if he lost it in late um and collected. Is that another front um, wing? Oh, that is yeah, another front wing for oh boy. That is another thing on that kind of money. Oh, that's rough. It is. That is rough. It is rough, rough, rough. Yeah, also Kano up in the top five. As well, P5 for Kano. Uh, yeah, I think he, he's not really catching anybody, but he's kind of in the world of his own right now, so. As no, long what as he else is there? Any mistakes, he, uh, Mitch is actually. It's just closer this time to lead Game Boy. Uh, Game Boy's still just barely, barely out of DRS range of motor, but he, he is gaining ever so slightly. Uh, but so is Vamu. Uh, only two seconds, pretty much on the dot, 2.1 back now. In the top five, after that, you have a pretty huge gap to RJP as you see him coming out of, what, what corner is this? Uh, RJP? Uh... Oh, yeah, I've known it. That was Melmody. Yeah, you know, I ain't paying attention. That was, that was Melmody, and then that one was Bruchel. And uh, this one's Puan. I, I know that. Uh, <laughs> you know yeah, a thing I've, or two about I've, getting I've, pooed I've, on. Yeah, I've been pooed on many a times to that corner. Get on any curb well, on the inside of that corner. Uh, we're getting we're getting inquiries about about joining the league. Yeah, there actually are a couple of spots available for AM2 if uh, you want to head to the website and join the Discord. Contest of speed .com. as always, is the uh, the fight between the top three is on. It is on. Motown, Motor City, down to half a second on Elite Game Boy, who uh, actually gets a pretty good release there. Uh, but these guys are going to be DRS training each other. Uh, to death as Gru comes out in the middle of all of it. Well, I know uh, with motor being trimmed out on downforce, I wonder how much ERS, if any, is going to burn to try to stay in front of uh, Lee Game Boy here. He's on the button now. Yeah, Game Boy definitely. Yeah, Game Boy definitely. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's running a lot of downforce, the Red Bull. Yeah, I mean, he hardly made any inroads with the DRS there. Granted, he didn't really use a lot of ERS, but I think motor being that trimmed out is going to be kind of a cork in the bottle for these uh, these other two behind them on, on softs who probably are a little bit quicker, but just probably aren't going to find a way around them. Unless he makes a mistake, of course, which is very easy to do when someone is right up your gearbox. 
It's, he's not gonna make that move into no Le Fort. Oh, a lot of curb there for lead Game Boy. Almost lost it. Uh, but I mean, lead Game Boy is the meat in the sandwich right now. But Mitch has been saving his ERS. Oh, under the tough exit there. If Game Boy got on his button, he'd get past him. But he's just gonna wait for DRS, I think. Oh, oh my lord! Mitch is gonna get them both if they keep. Look at how late Game here. Boy is on the brakes. It takes a lot of curb there. It's trying to do the uh, swaparoo. Oh, Mudder didn't get DRS even though he made his second into that corner, but I think he's going to get him back on the main street. Oh, he is, and I guess you might be able to see that in the background there. That is Vamanubal. He's creeping back up. Second at 1.4 is, is Bod lost it again. And that is. Uh, through yeah, I don't, the, I don't think there's going to be anything for early Game Boy to do here. Look at that Alpha Tower go. Flying right past him. Boy, that is fast. Yeah. He is uh, very trimmed out. Thanks to his lawnmower 4.0. Yeah. Rocky Bummy is, oh man, Bummy is lagging up a storm. Oh, whoa! Ah. <laughs> oh, Argentinian internet. Oh, hi, hi, hi. The holy ghost of Carlos Reutemann. Has infiltrated his Wi Fi. Yeah, Game Boy right up his tail again, coming through Kuan. That, that's where that front down course is really going to be playing yeah. a part for this, the Red Bull, because he can take all these high speed twisty bits a lot better. Oh, and and there he goes, there he goes. He did it again. Yep. He, did it, he did it last lap, or two laps ago, where he just he catches too much of that inside curb. Uh, the second part of La Fange. It was turn 14. Mitch is going to get motor in the bus stop. Maybe in Blanc Chamon. Yeah, he's, he's got a the button, huge exit here. He's going to have to back he's off the. He's going to have to lift. He's going to get him in the bus stop. Motor happily let him go because oh, he's going in the pits. That's why. All right, let's see what Motor's going to do here. Thinking hards? Uh, no, mediums. For Medium, sure. Can mediums go that far? Yep. Yeah, this is about where the soft start to fall off, so yeah, you'll see a whole bunch of these soft guys diving in. Um, yep, that is going to be Elite Game Boy as well, looking for the undercut on Mitch Burns, who's still looking for his first win. Oh, Kanu, or I think that was Bambu, cut the absolute crap out of uh, Rouge. Yes, if you're going to cut it, might as well cut it. Uh, and during all that, I, I thought Kano would be able to, to run those guys down with them battling like that, but he's dropped back from those top four. Yellow, that is bot again. Struggling. Goodness gracious. You know what? I mean, We're that, just not even way talking to about it. The hearts up, but I, I tried to tell him. Four, four laps. Uh, Fatal also on the hearts, not having nearly as difficult of a time. Uh, he is in P10, obviously not where he wants to be. I'm sure Fatal in the back of his head thought that he had the pace to win this whole thing, especially after the first corner, but uh, Motor had something else. He's got clean air, by the way, Motor, for six seconds on this fresh set of of, uh, of mediums. We'll see where that undercut so that puts him. teammates that went in front of him, too, so I doubt he will be uh, held up there. Yeah, P-Dog probably... Uh, Probably in that party with them both, I would have to assume. It's oh, RJP. RJP! Oh! Where was that? Oh, it's... Oh, street. it's out of Stavolo. Ooh, full safety car, too. That failed Mitch Burns out. That is some real fortunate timing. Uh, Vamu in the pits. I'm not sure what he's going to do. I think he might pit twice here. Uh, go to his set of tires and then come back in and... Put on the mediums for the end of the race. Yeah, that might, that might be the way to go for him. Uh, let's see if he's going softs. Those are softs. It's RJP. Boy, that is tough for him. Uh, uh, big Clay, impact, too. In. Yeah, so Motor and Elite Game Boy stayed out, but yeah, Motor did lose the lead to Mitch Burns, but I will bet money that he'll be able to take the lead back from Mitch Burns. Uh, 
maybe even on the safety car restart without DRS, with how low down the force he's running. It's just a matter of if he's gonna die going up over Rouge on those cold mediums. Cold tires for everyone, uh, which will always throw a spanner in the works. Uh, electric does point out Fatal does get a chance for redemption. He's yeah, in the pits as well. Uh, Kano and Clay have both uh, equipped the hards. Bad move. Uh, from, uh, I guess Clay started on the medium, so that makes sense. Uh, I don't know if he'll come back in and get rid of those hards. Uh, but yeah, Kano started on the softs and definitely should have went to mediums from here. Uh, Fatal's abandoned the hards. He's put on the mediums. Uh, Bodhod's going to get rid of the hards as well. Uh, Vilnuf surprisingly staying on the hards. Uh, had, a, had a free pit stop there. Not sure what the thought process was there. Um, but, but yeah, Mitch Burns, Motor City, uh, two abreast right now. This isn't. He's a NASCAR, guys. Yeah, Motor's just trying to burn his fuel, so he's just revving out each gear, trying to burn as much as he can. I'm not a fan of this tactic. If you put too much fuel in the car, you just run with it. Uh, I'm interested to see what Vamu does here. If he's going to try to stay on those softs, if you're on a lighter fuel load, maybe uh, you can take him uh, probably the 10 laps, 12 laps. I don't know. I think he's going to have to come back in, put on mediums, and work his way through the field. Got a question from the peanut gallery. It is DK Nortec. Uh, does telemetry right. say if you have rear wing damage or not? Uh, let me check. Uh, Mr. DK did not have any rear wing damage, but it does say. I, I do have. I can see floor, diffuser, side pod, rear wing, and both front wing. Interesting. Uh, DK and Gru uh, lost both their front wings, um, and they both lost a tire. Uh, not sure if Clay heard us, but he is in. He's got a cool yeah, little. That, he's got a neat that, little helmet. Yep. Yeah, I'm. I'm really not on board with what Kano did here, though. Uh, those hards are not gonna fire off on the safety car restart either. I, he's going to be a sitting duck for everyone behind him. Same thing with Vamu, I think. He's going to be a hot fart in a skillet coming out of the, <laughs> the safety car restart. Those softs are going to be the complete opposite of what happened at the start of the race. Um, like he, He's going to be able to get past these guys in front of him, but it's towards the end of this race. He's going to be sliding all over the place like a, a stick of butter. Um, he's going to have absolutely no grip. Uh, Come the last two laps of this race, and those mediums are going to eat him up. Now, uh, I do want to press the rewind button for a second. I've never heard that colloquialism before. Hot oh. fart in the skillet? Oh, yeah, man. Are you putting butter in after you farted on the skillet? No. So, did you fart into the butter? No. no. The stick of butter is completely different from a hot fart. Oh. The, the hot fart in the skillet is, it goes crazy, right? It, it, all over the place rapid movement uh, a good example of a hot fart in a skillet would be a toddler with caffeine okay. that's a hot fart in a skillet uh, Rogue asks uh, if motor's overheating his engine I, I believe he's just trying to I don't think it's a glitch I think he was just trying to burn off his excess uh, fuel he, yeah so he might be overheating his engine but uh, I'm guessing he thinks fuel, and I, I would tend to agree that the weight of the fuel is worse than uh, whatever engine overheating things he would be suffering. Um, SC in the slap, Mitch Burns, Jesu Miss Burns will be leading us to green. Uh, looking for his yeah, first I win. Pete. Trying to drive alongside him. <laughs> do, do I restart? Uh, interesting tactics. Uh, P Dog wants to know if uh, we're getting on 2K afterwards. I'm not sure. We might. I'm kind of feeling more FIFA tonight. We've been getting absolutely destroyed in the wreck. Is Mitch? Yeah. Is he gone? Oh, he's gone. He is uh, gone. He's gonna that get is slowed down. That safety car ain't making yeah. it to the pits. Maybe it did. He might have timed that 
Yeah, so Bird, you just you just saw the safety car into the pits. I think yep. he did time that really well. His motor goes super wide. Vama with those super duper sick, those sticky softs. Let's see if he dives into the. Uh, excuse me, the source. To, to me less. To me less. Uh, I leave Game Boy back here on the mediums. So there's a huge gap forming. Uh, Kano actually did a pretty good job. Uh, all things considered, his this motor is runs a bit. I have. Uh, I mean, both these got motors not burning any ERS. I don't think he's really worried about Vamu getting past him. Um, on those sticky, sticky softs, uh, I think he's gonna let him go run down the midge. Yeah, uh, I don't. I think they're, uh, as the kids uh, put it, ain't no way. Ain't no way that Vamu's gonna get these tires in the end of the race, even even with all the assists that he uses. Ain't no way. Ain't and, no. and uh, yeah, kind of just gonna rock out on these hards. Uh, looks like he's got. Ooh, you know, I've never noticed Kano's helmet before. It's actually, it's actually not bad. It's got the green, which is which is nice. Matches a little clover, the alpha clover. Damn, I'm not a fan of the black blue stripe yet. Like, if that was white. Well, that's in memoriam for uh, Michele uh, Alberetto. Who died 20 years ago today? Wow. Yeah. Uh, I think he's gonna run out of ERS deployment. This app he already has. I don't know if he'll be able to get a move on Kano here, but he's gonna try to get past him as soon as uh, he can. I don't think so. Uh, Vamu, God, look at that. That is just such a huge grip differential. Yeah. Uh, He's, he sets fastest lap. Of the race. Yeah, he's he's just gonna he's gonna get that move done by the second chicane, the bus stop, or second part of the bus stop. There, uh, but now he's just got to make hay while the sun shines. Doesn't he's got to drive like a hot fart in a skillet. Uh, yeah. Up a rouge he goes as he gets three seconds, and who knows what that might play uh, into the rest of this race. Halfway through, a little over halfway. This Mitch Burns, uh, probably, I, I don't think so, but I feel like uh, the harder Mitch can make Vamu's life, the better uh, long term for Mitch. Uh, it'll be. Yeah, I don't think Vamu's getting away from these guys on the mediums. Uh, we saw that early in the race. When he had a tough start there, but once he got those tires, oh my. Oh, Did he drop it again? Oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I. Once Vamu got those tires heated up, he didn't really struggle too, uh, too much. He kind of maintained that two second gap for the whole first stint. But I, I don't see Vamu making this work. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, to be completely honest, uh, I really don't know who the strongest driver is today. Uh, is it Vamu? Is it Mitch? Is it Motor? Is it Elite Game Boy? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but I guess that's why yeah, we watch. Yeah, this is this is a new feeling after P Dog's dominated the past oh, uh, six or so championships. Is that V Tech? V Tech loses it through Stavolo. Now Fatal has caught up to the back of Racing Fan. If he can get two moves done quickly, uh, who knows? He might be able to factor in to uh, to the podium discussions at the end of this race. Fountain pours in another fast lap. It's a 45-8, pretty respectable. Uh. Let's see if Motor can get DRS on Mitch here. He's kind of sliding all over the place. That yeah, doesn't look likely. Nope, they're all about one, one in a tenth, one second in a tenth behind each other. So that is a three, Motor that is three. A three second time penalty for Motor. Now back up here, uh, we'll uh, check some some warnings here. Uh, yeah, so Mitch is on two, and Elite Game Boy on two, Kano on two, Racing Fan on two, Fatal on two. Speaking of Kano, oh, that is racing fan. Oh, does a good job to save it. And he's peeking up the inside. Oh no! Oh, I jinxed him. Lights it up. Was not expecting the rears to be as hot as they were. And is he stuck? Oh no, he's waiting, uh, waiting for Bodhod to get by. So Bod is in the points. No, didn't even notice. Oh, made a mistake. Did Con I wonder if Kano made a mistake. Fatal is up into P5 now. He's got two and a half seconds to motor. Uh, if he can get up there, uh, who knows what is possible. But yeah, uh, Elite Game Boy gets that move done. But uh, is the damage done? Is Mitch in complete control of this race? 
Uh, three and a half seconds is the gap. Uh, to Mitch, he is checked out with the assist of Vamu's DRS, I think, once or twice. Is that Villeneuve around? Yep. Oh, uh, Villeneuve was having a really strong run. He had not really made any mistakes aside from that run with Gru earlier. Ah, well. Good news is, if you finish this race, there is about is that 92% chance that you're going to get points. Yeah. And I think Modi is going to get that place back here on Game yeah. Boy coming uh, down the Kimmel straight here. Uh, as long as he doesn't die of Barouche, I think this one's set in stone. And I wonder if Kano is just going to try to stick with Nadal here and just see if. I mean, he shouldn't have gone to the hard tires, but we all know Fatal is a little bit quicker than Kano. Uh, uh, yeah, allegedly. Even though it's yeah. his first year with the game. Uh, he's a quick learner. Uh, Motor does get that move done before the braking zone. But I think we're going to see it again. Elite Game Boy is just going to be all over the back of him through this tight second sector. Oh, boy! That's Elite Game he's Boy. He's running <laughs> way too much rear wing and not enough rear wing uh, in that Red Bull. Uh, that car, it, it's turning great, but it just doesn't have the grip to, to stick to the track. Oh. Everybody likes a tire with a little grip in it. Kano on those hards doing respectable jobs. We got our first helicopter shot of the evening, folks. That is presented to you by visitmalonia.com and Manscaped. Check out the lawnmower 4.0. It's kind of, ooh, battling a lot of understeer there. Was that lag? I'm not sure. Uh, hard tires are not or hard good. Or hard tires. Not great. Uh, yeah. Bamu, about two and a half seconds in front of Mitch, and I have a feeling he's going to need like 20 uh, if he wants a chance of winning this race. Yeah, it'll be a short, it's a short pit lane, but I mean, it's a slow pit lane. He's going to need a lot of time. Uh, let me check tire wear. Uh, if we have access to that. Uh, yeah, so Bamu's already on 30% across the board on his tires, uh, which isn't as bad as I thought. Yeah, I'd be uh, expecting him any time now. Uh, I feel like the sooner he does it, probably the better. Well, I mean, I, he might stretch those things out till they pop. Uh, yeah, we did I mean, see it last year. We did see it last year in Bahrain. Uh, he's in five laps. Okay, so we double that. So do another five laps. That's lap twenty. He had about sixty percent on his tires. They they'll be pushing eighty, but it, he might. Make it. But once you hit that six, like, Mitch Burns' tires are significantly better. Uh, it's then going to be the pace. Who's Game Boy picks up three? All right, well, it's going to be the pace of the sauce uh, once they drop off. Yeah, true. I don't know. It depends on how, I mean, I feel like Vom has probably pushed those tires pretty far already. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you might... He might try to stretch him to the end. I think I think Rogue did uh did ask. Well, I think he is. He's gonna stretch him. It's just a matter of how fast he's gonna be on him. Yeah. And right now, I mean, the way the penalties have uh, broken Mitch. How many? Can you check how many warnings he has? If he uh, has he's, on he's on two. Two warnings so for everyone Mitch. Everyone in the yeah. top ten is on two warnings, except for no, no. Uh, yeah, everyone in the top ten is on two warnings or penalties. Uh, Bill New is our only wizard award at the moment. Impressive. Golden wizard award. Doesn't have a warning. But he is also outside the top. Uh, the, the gap from Motor and Elite Game Boy uh, is still about three and a half seconds to pitch. So and I, I, that's definitely the race for the win at the moment um, and even even with the penalties Mitch uh, is clean at the moment uh, but is definitely just one one warning away from picking up three and making it leap a level playing field for the top, uh, top four Rogue says unable to accept the invite 
I want to get in touch with one of the admins over that route. Um, which I am not. I just work here. Mitch Burns. Uh, looking real strong. Looking for his first win in Contest of Speed. It's been about a season and a half. Really uh, grinding away in the AM1. Struggling for points. Uh, voluntarily demoted himself this year. Uh, in order to, to hopefully compete for a championship down here in AM2. Gain some experience. And uh, with P-Dog's absence, he's one point behind Vamu, who's currently leading. Uh, but, uh, you know, given the penalty situation, uh, it, is, it is Mitch who stands to gain the most here Game today. Boy, uh, is on the tail of motor now. Uh, he hasn't been this close coming to the bus stop uh, yet since Motor's got back fast. Him, so I wonder if he's going to be able to make a move down the Kimmel Street, but he is going to have to burn a lot of ERS to get that one done. Um, you might want to check your... Oh, oh mother's... mother's dumped it! He's dead. Oh, he's gone. Motor has gone, that's and that's another, another safety, safety car. car. Who's going to Motor's... sauce? Motor's died both. Oh, that, that is... He just Kevin magnuson himself from a few yeah. years ago. He's buried in that tire barrier in that tech pro. Visibilonia.be Well, while we have a second, uh, check, check your mobile device, please. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think uh, we got a nice little second to recover. Uh, and then, then we're about to go crazy. Oh, did Game Boy lose it under safety court? Fatal has did he? gotten past Game Boy. Whoa. Uh, not sure what happened there. I was watching. Uh, admiring his Senate helmet. Well. See what these guys choose to do with this safety car. Can't imagine it lasting more than. Uh, that might have bailed Vamu out, uh, because if everyone goes to sauce behind him, he, he will obviously still be in the lead. But if he pits and nobody else does, that's going to be a lot of ground to make up in a short amount of time for the uh, well, Ferrari. Moment of truth for Vamu, and he is in. But he, he has to pit. Now it's what the medium guys do. Yep, it's Mitch just going to... Mitch wants to have a drag him, race. Vamu to lead. Game Boy stayed out. Game Boy is staying out on those mediums. Kano, uh, Fatal's Kano's in. in Kano's time. in. Clay. Clay yeah, is in. in. Well, Bot yeah, is they in. Are, I think the rest of the grid, except for Racing Band, who just did the lap before and Bill knew, uh, they'll probably stay out on those softs. Yeah. VTech will probably pit for a set of softs. Alrighty. Uh, wow. This is shaping up to be a doozy of an ending. Here in like Belgium, that's a bad decision from Game Boy. Uh, if he would have been the second guy and a, a train of about four or five guys on mediums, I think it would have been all right. But he's—I I, I know what picture I'm thinking of, uh, but it's not uh, contest to speak friendly. Uh, you guys know what picture? Hey, what are you? Uh, you know, white T-shirts. Um, lady on a couch. Oh, five, oh yeah. Man standing, standing yeah, behind yeah. her. Uh, yeah, that that's what's about to go on right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Depending no, no, on no, no, how you look at no, this no, situation, exactly you might about. be into that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Yeah, it's. Yeah, that's a really good one. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, Fatal has marched back. He is, he has been in second. He was actually in the lead. Uh, people might forget that he was in the lead for the Kimball straightaway. Uh, there, uh, up until Motor decided to make the move of the race, making it three wide, uh, getting him into Lacombe. Oh, and Fatal actually has the, uh, he has a Belgian helmet on this week. Didn't even notice that. It's, uh, golden, golden red Very and black. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Uh, very good at geography, is Fatal. 
Um, but yeah, he uh, he was up there. He was leading for a little bit, but uh, immediately after that, he crashed uh, coming out of turn 11. Uh, it's that left-hander before Puan must have just gotten a little too much curb. Uh, but yeah, it was all the way down the order. But he is uh, grit and grinded his way back up through the field. And he is now uh, in P4 with a legitimate chance of a podium. Uh, as does Kano, actually. I mean, Kano does have a pretty decent chance here. Uh, if everything goes his way, probably not going to get any of the guys in the top four on pace. But who knows what kind of shenanigans will be happening in the final three or four laps. Yeah, that would, would that would be the would most insufferable. Would be a lot of that would be the most insufferable podium interview too. Kano would just be. Kano, I mean, Kano kind of deserves a podium, but I, I don't think I don't think it's gonna fit. I, I don't I don't see it happening, even with you know P Dog out of the league. Guaranteed a podium every race. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't see Connor doing it. Um, I, I did. I, I do want to apologize to the uh, Alpha Carries. Uh, I did curse y'all before the race. Um, I, I pride myself. We need to. Uh, well, since Kyrie Irving's not doing anything, I wonder if we can hire him to uh, come in and burn some of those little, little cleansing smoke things that he that he walks around with. Uh, he might be able to, might be able to clean out all the bad energy that you've put in this commentary box. Yeah. So. Um. <laughs> you know, speaking of Australians. <laughs> you know he's had a wild ride today. Bodhod spun no less <laughs> than like <laughs> spun no less than like five times in that first day. Hey, look at his car; it's so uh, like dirty. Yeah, he's, like he's the, the, been everywhere. He looks like wing. a cross. <laughs> looks like cross country trucker. It, the front wing of that car is tore up on the blow up. Um, he has been in. I think he's touched every gravel trap on this track. But he does drive at the uh, unlucky number thirteen. To be expected. You know, it might it might be uh, we'd have to ask Vamu for a confirmation, but that actually might be a lucky number in Argentina, no. uh, where we all know no. Australia is actually located. Uh, safety car in this lap. Lead game boy lean him to green. He's gonna have to get a good start here on those older medium tires. These guys are gonna be all yeah. over his backside. He definitely can't do a Mitch did last restart. Uh, he's gonna have to wait until out of the bus stop to go. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't see him holding on to this. But he's gonna back him out, back him up into the bus stop and try to get a good exit. Or is he gonna just hold him onto the main straight? A little bit of contact there. It almost looked like with Vamu. There is contact in the background. That is a, that's a Red Bull. I think that was Clay Funk losing an end plate. Is how does MP3? How does, what? How does MP2? Uh, what, is, what is going on? What a I, world I we live in! I, I don't know. Kano is on the back of Vamo Nubel. Oh, Elite Game Boy. Right up the back, and Kano is going to have a run on Vamo Nubel. Why is it in the, the outside? <laughs> Kano yeah. getting the slip. Oh, boy. oh, he's going to send it around the outside. No. There's no room there. What is going on here this evening? Mitch has to make quick work of Elite Game Boy if he wants to stay in this race. Two and a half laps left. Beto lost out big time there. Uh, he, he's now in P5 and stuck behind uh, Elite Game Boy and Mitch. Bod's up another spot. He's in the P6. Yeah, I think that's Clay. He is. We saw Clay get some damage there. I think on the on that restart. Uh, oh, Kano picks up three seconds. Okay, so Mitch only one clean. He's still on two warnings though. Yeah, Vamu 
He's driving away with it. He's driving away with it. That is one second that he gained in that second sector. Now we're gonna need. Mitch is gonna have to clear this out. Here. He's Mitch. gonna have to clear this on on Game Boy. Gets a good inch. It's all about the exit though. Going into a source. And look at these guys all bunched up. Bods all over the back of Fatal. Two prior AM2 champions battling out for P5. I mean, Clay's still in the back of these guys. He's not the one that uh, is racing the Oh, I just yeah, I saw I saw Clay's car out of line and just saw an end plate bounce up in the air. Uh, Twenty viewers at the moment. Hello, everybody. Hope you're enjoying what has been an eventful, eventful Belgian Grand Prix. Yeah, I think the problem for Mitch and Fader right now is that Kano doesn't have the pace to keep up with Bamu, uh, and the Elite Game Boy is just sitting in that slipstream down all the straightaways. Uh, P Dog and Motor are both rooting on Kano. Asking what is he on? I have a feeling that the answer to that is a lot of marijuana. Probably a jump safety car restart, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, the important thing is that Kano day lock for 20. Second place. Man, they are all on the back of each other here. Yeah, they are. Uh, so Bod, Bod had a little bit of a motor. understeer moment going to the campus. I think that I think that must be something with the way he's setting up his parts because he has had that problem with Monaco here the entire season. I would think. Mitch on the button. He's got to get this move done. He's got to get this move done. Oh, the Game oh. Boy kind of squeezes him a bit. Yep. But he ran off, the, off track. the track. Let's see if he's got any more juice. DRS is enabled, I believe. Fatal. Oh, it's not. Sorry. Uh, Fatal looking to the inside. Are we going to go side by side up Eau Rouge? I think we might have oh, to do I, it. I think oh. We're get wide oh, I sure. think M Mitch has cleared it. Let's see if Fatal uh, yeah, fancies, DRS, fancies his chances. If Fatal's going to get them both here. Oh, oh. he almost worked out. It doesn't matter. Fate, Mitch is the only one that's worried about that at the moment. Oh yeah, they're going three wide. Oh, uh, no, they're just flying past Mitch. Oh, is that Bod going to sneak by on the outside as well? Oh man, no, oh, this is tough. That, this is tough for Kano Mitch. To get away on this time penalty. He might yeah, this to is tough for Mitch. Mitch. This is tough for Mitch. He lost over a second right there. And Game Boy is somehow still at B three. That Game Boy doing an excellent job holding these guys off. Uh, Mitch will still be be getting a podium out of this, uh, so long as he keeps it on track here. Fatal. Oh, into Lafon. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, again, sorry. Uh, oh, Game, Game Boy, Boy six seconds. Three. That is six seconds. So, despite this very good drive from him, this is not great. Look at these guys. Good lord, four of them. You could throw a blanket over. Over these oh, they're four. all on the buttons here. Oh, don't go side by side. Oh, Bod's getting <laughs> Bod's flying. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my god! What is gonna don't happen? End in tears. Oh, Vamu is oh. one. Kano has finished second for now. Mitch is gonna be P3. What a mad scramble oh, to the line. Held on to P2 by three one hundredths of a second from Mitch. Goodness gracious, Kano is finished in P2 in a in Clay the league Funk race. Jumped up to P4 Clay Funk with by race. far his best result of the season. Clay's had a terrible year so far. He'll be relishing in that fourteenth to fourth no, performance. That's driver of the day for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yep, there it. it is. A sneaky P4 from Clay. I don't even know where he came from. Hey, he was just nice and quiet, sticking on the back of that train while they were all wrecking each other just about. Oh boy, that is. How is something um, else? And somehow Vamu ended up winning this race. <laughs> yeah, Vamu did win. Uh, Yo soy fiesta to Vamu. Uh, apologies for not catching his actual win. Uh, as he crossed the line, but uh, there was about five cars <laughs> within half a second of each other. 
uh, oh. on that final lap. So it was it was Vamu. Was it Mitch? Yeah, Mitch. Was. I'm gonna try to get these guys in here for the uh, podium interviews. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, thanks, Maddie, for tuning in. Uh, it's your time of night. I have to ask Kano about that restart. It's having a uh, difficult time finding uh, Vamu's name. It's because he always, always appears, appears offline. offline. Yeah, he sure does. What is he hiding? Uh, probably from the Argentinian cartel. <laughs> and I, I know that Nazis live down there. Yeah. Yeah, you know, to be fair, there's a lot of Nazis here too. Hey, yeah, I bet you're you know all about that. Um, sure do. As, okay, uh, Mitch Burns will be skipping out on an interview. Ah, oh, uh, Chase Sue Mitch Burns. Yeah, golly, man. You know, I'm, I'm sorry I don't speak French. If you speak uh, slow enough, you can still understand you. Mitch, your, your English is fine. Don't worry about your English. We can understand you. Yeah. Uh, same I'm same for next time. Okay. Well, you know, congratulations to Mitch Rhodes on P3. Uh, we'll go on to second place uh, with Kano. What did you do on that safety car restart? Um, uh, well, everyone basically was like really close to each other. They were like riding each other's butt. And on mm -hmm. the last corner, I mean, the restart was a Bottas restart. Honestly, I think we have to set a rule itself because it just caused more conf confusion between everyone. But I backed off. I made a mistake. I had to like really break, and I backed off so I didn't hit and get wing damage. And it ended up that when I got on the straight and everyone started going, I don't know how, but there was this minor little gap between P5 and P3 where I was. And I ended up getting through because I pushed, and I just used the RS. And I, I should have won the race, to be honest with you. I'm mad at myself. I haven't got a podium in cost before. And I really shouldn't have looked at where I was and Vamu having a penalty and me not. Because it just made me drive more, I guess, stupidly and aggressively more. And I got myself a penalty. So after that, I was just hoping for P2. But behind me was just madness. I... Yeah, madness. In that last lap, I thought I was dropping down to P3 at least because I thought Mitch would have got us, but that last lap looked crazy from behind me, so I don't know what you guys got to see. Yeah, yeah, they're, they were about, uh, they're, they're pack racing in spot. I could, he I, could, uh, I could hear the crashing into turn one as yeah, I was yeah, on the it, straight. I could it, hear a Haas a and a red, yeah, I heard a Haas like smack into the side of someone. I almost actually took out Vamu into turn one because I broke a little late. But I just nudged him. I don't know if that was net type, but oh, I didn't kill him, so he still won the race, and we got a Ferrari one, two, I guess, powered unit. All right. Well, thank you for thank you the race breakdown. Uh, congratulations on your first uh, podium in contest speed. Uh, and yeah, that was a fantastic Cowboys restart there. Uh, after that safety car. Um. So now we'll go to uh, our race wiener, uh, Vamu Nubel. Uh, definitely did not see this one coming after a average start on the mediums. Uh, to be to be blunt, um, kind of got bailed out by a safety car there, though. A couple safety cars really, uh, and then just kind of the fastest guy out there on the last safety car. Uh, Anything you'd like to add, tell, sponsors, fans? Yeah. Oh, sponsors? Okay, I'd like to sp thank my sponsor for... Uh... <laughs> no, we're not talking to you anymore, oh. all right, Mr. P2. Congratulations, but I'd I'm like to talk to the sorry. race winner. I'm okay, leaving. thank you. Thank you. So Fun I'm moves. currently shaking. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I yeah expected that was wild. My, I expected myself to be slow on the mediums, but... It was part of my strategy. Then when the first safety car came, I like, I don't, I didn't know what to do. I tried to put on mediums, but the game didn't let me. So then when the second safety car came and everyone was speeding, I was like, yes. Yeah, he, he got 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 lucky there. But uh, you know, sometimes half of winning a race is being good and fast, and half of it's being lucky. And yeah, I tell you, I'd rather be lucky than good. All right, because. Uh, 
you got bailed out there, but you won, uh, extended your lead in the championship uh, that you're now uh, ahead of due to. I, I was going to break something if I lost another win because of those three seconds. <laughs> That's yeah, uh, stupid warning. You you were like one of the first ones to pick up a, a penalty, uh, but you kind of everyone else behind you also picked up penalties and yeah. were beating the crap out of each other on those last two laps. Let you get away, the clean the air. Yep, yeah. and you, know, you got past uh, like Game Boy on the mediums there and kind of drove away with it. So congratulations. Thank. You. Um. Yeah, I, I think that'll wrap it up, Sir Kitten Petter. Yeah, just like Fiesta, that was a mega race for only having 14 guys around uh, around the Argon Forest, or Ardent Forest. What do I always call Argon? Ardent Forest. Let's see. Yep. Uh, beautiful stuff uh, from all parties, except for maybe a few uh, that didn't make it to the finish line. Uh, you want to know where we're at next week? I just looked. And boy, am I excited! Uh, is, is it Japan? It is Japan. We are going to be racing around Suzuka next week, which is really fun uh, for pad users like you and I. Uh, can't wait for that one. Uh, but yeah, I'm so excited. In the meantime, you can watch the rest of this week's contest of speed action. Uh, tomorrow, EU2 and AM1, uh, where you can watch Swarner compete without a teammate, uh, because I will be off at a bar somewhere watching uh, the Cardinals game. Uh, and then uh, Thursday, EU1, where, who knows, Swarner might be competing again uh, for McLaren. Uh, but yeah, uh, the next week, of course, uh, we'll be taking on the treacherous Suzuka. Uh, I guess in the meantime, uh, yeah, you guys can follow everything on our socials, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Discord, website, all contests of speed. Uh, yeah. But until next week, uh, we'll talk to you later. Everybody have a beautiful weekend. Uh, I'm Kid Better. That's Swarner. For Vamu, for Kano, who just got a podium somehow, and for uh, Jay Sumich Burns, uh, who we did not interview. Uh, everybody have a good night.